Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and today we're going to be talking about the future of the channel yet again. Even though we already had this conversation a month and a half ago, just hear me out. I'm going to explain exactly what's going on here. So essentially, I had created a new channel, of course, Down Phoenix Rising. If you're watching this video, you probably are well aware of that. And essentially what I did with that channel is I decided to take things in a different direction, do vlog-related content, kind of like this here. This is a vlog, in case you didn't realize and uh, just decided to do things differently from how I have done it in the past. Vlog content has always been one of the strongest types of content on the channel as far as viewer engagement and things like that. And that's what really interested me about those. I mean, there are some videos of mine that get more views like Let's Plays or walkthrough type videos or things like that. But they're not really content that keep people focused on the channel itself. Uh, they're content that, you know, somebody will search on YouTube, they'll find whatever video they're looking for, maybe they'll click on my video, and they'll watch that video, and they'll just kind of move on with their lives, and, you know, that's great and all. I mean, that YouTube does give us the opportunity to find all kinds of great content, but I want to be able to build a channel of basically where people can engage on the channel regularly, like a lot of you guys have done, and I really am thankful for your support. But that's the reason why I decided to take kind of the direction that I have, making this kind of content rather than what I used to in the past. And also, it's just more timeless. I mean, these types of videos, some of them are kind of news-related videos, and I know news topics will expire pretty quickly, but they still tend to have a message. I still try to bring some kind of message to that content. So even if you're watching a video like that where the information itself may be outdated, it still has very relevant details. It has a very relevant discussion and conversation to that information, which can still relate to future information that we might find out gaming-wise. And so that's why I like to do those kinds of videos. I want to make content like that because one of the things that has discouraged me on the original channel in the first place was some of the analytics. I've you know, been recently looking at analytics quite a lot, trying to see what I can do exactly to help grow my channel to get more subscribers, more viewers, more watch time, all kinds of things like that. And one of the things I learned is that retention is a real problem with this channel. And I know that most of the people that watch the channel regularly probably watch most, if not all, the videos. But I'm talking about just the average person. The one that does not actually comment on the videos, the one that doesn't click like or dislike, they just click on the video for whatever reason that they decide to click on it. And it turns out that the content maybe is not what they're looking for. Maybe they don't appreciate the way I delivered the content in some way. I don't know exactly what the details are. If you happen to be one of those kinds of viewers, I would really appreciate any feedback that you have as to why you have done what you've done. Because I want to try to improve myself as much as I possibly can. And your feedback is probably more valuable than anybody else's. I mean, as much as I really appreciate the fans that actually regularly watch the videos and comment and share and things like that. I really appreciate what you guys do, but it doesn't really help me grow the channel at the same time. And that's not your fault. You know, that's something that a lot of channels have to face. A lot of channels have their dedicated fan base, but outside of that, you have to look at how the channel is reacted to by just the general viewing populace. And that's what I'm really looking forward at. That's what I'm looking at. Now, that's not to say I want to abandon anybody that has been a long-time viewer. I don't want to do things that are drastically different to where I may alienate you guys, because that's even a worse idea. That's probably one of the worst ideas a channel can have. But at the same time, we do have to learn to adapt and to change along with the times. And that's something that I am doing. That's something that, that's the whole reason why I make changes that I do. I change the thumbnails, I change the way I discuss topics, I change the frequency of uploads, I discuss all, I just change all kinds of stuff, okay? And that's something that a lot of channels have to do as well. You know, you just have to kind of adapt to survive, so to speak. Uh, so anyways, that's just what I'm looking at. I'm just looking at the analytics of the new channel, the old channel. I've been kind of comparing things. And it just has not looked very good for the new channel. I'm not seeing the results that I suspected I would with this here. Now, a lot of the people that have been regular viewers have, you know, been very willing to adopt to the new channel. 
And I'm very happy for that, you know. That really shows that, you know, if I want to make a drastic change like that, like say, for example, if YouTube goes belly up for whatever reason or something like that, and I have to go to a different video platform in order to share my content, it shows that there will be people that will follow me, and I'm really happy to see that. Uh, but the thing that I'm not seeing is I'm not really seeing any increase in average view time or audience retention. Those are two metrics that are very important to a channel's growth because what YouTube looks at more than anything else is watch time. And without increasing that, without getting that up, your channel is not going to grow. It's going to remain at a plateau. And that's what I'm trying to prevent here. So I decided based on this information, you know, given that despite the changes I've made, I haven't made any improvement on that front. Now I realized it would take a while. So I actually, that's why I let it stew for like a month and a half, like I have, because I really wanted to see this information come in from video to video so that I can kind of take a look at it and just basically see what happens to it. Because pretty much after a video has been out for a couple of weeks, that's where most of the traction is over with. And that allowed me to really look closely at those figures on how that stuff has done. And of course, with the most recent video that I uploaded on my original channel, looking at the analytics on that, I mean, that actually was doing pretty decently compared to the videos on the new channel, in spite of it being the old channel. So that kind of taught me some information as well. So if the message isn't clear, here's what's going to go on going forward. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with the new channel. I haven't really decided how I want to utilize that, if I want to utilize that at all in the future. But what I am going to do is I'm going to start uploading all of my new content back to the old channel, the one that's just titled Down Phoenix. And I'm going to get rid of the inactive channel thing and just change things, make it obvious that, hey, this is the channel. This is my channel. Um, you know, I built this channel for over 11 years and I know I don't have a whole lot to show for it, but it is mine and I worked hard to get it to that point. And it is kind of silly to abandon it so frivolously. I, I, I really had regrets doing that in the first place, but I really wanted to kind of take a risk. I wanted to see if maybe some of my speculations regarding it were true and they weren't really, but I did learn a lot of information. I did learn a lot about this whole journey. And I hope it doesn't like make you guys want to go away or anything like that because that would suck. You know, like I said, I don't want to burn any bridges. I don't want to alienate anybody. So I hope you guys have an understanding of what I'm doing here. So I'm bringing all the new videos over back over to the old channel. Any videos that haven't already been uploaded... Uh, they're going to be re-uploaded. I'm going to do it like one a day or something like that. So it doesn't like get kind of crazy. And that's going to allow me time to kind of prepare new content, of course, in the meantime. So if you already watched the video, well, I mean, you don't, get, you don't have to watch it again if you don't want to, right? I mean, that's fine. I know those views will probably suffer on that old channel, but, you know, it is what it is. You know, I just want to kind of uh, allow that content to come back so that it can all be under one roof. And I'm thinking about also bringing the live streaming back to the YouTube channel. I've been doing the live streams on Twitch. Again, it has not really been successful. I've been trying to promote the Twitch channel as much as possible. Um, but, you know, that's kind of my failing as well. I haven't really been streaming a whole lot on Twitch. And so that's a thing as well. So I don't know. like, Because Twitch does seem like it has a more reliable platform for streaming. From what I can tell, it does seem like it offers more features than YouTube. Uh, but then again, I do have the established audience on YouTube already. So maybe you guys can just let me know what you think as far as Twitch. If I should continue doing that, do the YouTube, maybe do their whole restreamio type thing. I guess I could do that. Um, but yeah, just let me know what you guys think. Um, I, gu I guess that's all. I mean, if you have any suggestions on what I should do with the old or well, the new old channel, you know, the channel down Phoenix rising, I'm all ears. You know, I really, uh, would appreciate any feedback and. Uh, you know, any feedback and commentary you have on that. Uh, but I guess that's all we have really time for. So till then, Down Phoenix out.